Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Um, if you're seeing this little intro, then that means this episode was long enough to be its own episode. Woo! Um, so I'm not gonna splice it in with the previous one, but hey, future me, if this one is too short, go ahead and splice it in right here. Because I've got all the supplies, um, that I need in here. So let's get the heck out of- Let's get the heck out of here! What the heck is going on? God. Five seconds into the video and we've got a Game Grumps reference already. Am I just the world's most predictable person? Sorry, it's locked form the other side? Oh, this just became the best Resident Evil game ever made. And that's even better to me because this is not... This is not the first time they've made this game. This is a... Ooh, two green herbs. I will actually leave those there. Oh, I just used it. Hmm? What's going on? No, you don't. No, I don't know what's going on. No, I think my game glitched or something. I have to reload my save. That's so crazy. This is so weird. I don't know what's happening. What? What? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean something's going on? No, nothing's going on here. There's no funny business going on here. No, no. What are you talking about? What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm just, I'm just going to pick up these shotgun shells right here. And then we're just going to, we're just going to keep going. See, see, we're right back. See, nothing happened. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? Okay, anyway. Um, ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba, ba -da -da ba da ba da ba All right. What was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, the thing that made... Oh, this really is literally just a carbon copy. The music box lid is closed. The blue sapphire has been... Re oh... Can I go through this? I can. Do I have to go get the blue and red gems? I bet you I do. Music box is playing Stop the Music Box. And it, okay, locked itself. Okay, so I what I'm imagining is I need to do the same thing that I did before um, with putting the music disc um, putting the music disc back uh, in the other one. But how do I get both the gems? Do I have to take each gem one at a time? No! Wait, hold on! I have an idea! I just got a genius idea! I don't even know if I should say it out loud before I know if it works or not. Okay, okay, I just got a brilliant idea. I can't wait to see if it works. If this, if, if what I'm thinking of works, um, you've used a sterile room key, you no longer need it, discard it, okay. If what I'm about to try works, I'm going to feel not only so smart, but it's also going to be a genius moment of game design. So, got to go this way. So, if you recall, a couple episodes back when we first got down here, what was one of the things that we needed to do? That's right. We needed to turn on the electricity. And, if you recall, whenever we interacted with that lion head, what did it always make note of? Oops. That's right. It always made note of the fact. It, sa it always said, this thing is powered by electricity. Well. Oops. I just want to put that away. There we go. Because I need two slots. Well, what if we turned off the electricity? Hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, that's a great idea. That would mean the lion head stops moving. But isn't the door to get back and forth powered by electricity? Because it moves up and down. Well, it is. But you know what door isn't powered by electricity? This one! Hell yes. Also, 
maybe this is hold on maybe now since the electricity's turned off i can figure out how to get that last dragonfly maybe it has something to do with the this does this have anything to do with it okay no those i can't interact with those at all am i just meant to get into the oh i just have to get into the water okay i feel like a dumbass i just couldn't get into it from uh from the other side i just had to get into it from there okay well boy don't do i feel like a dummy well okay i have to go back and put the wing away now because otherwise i'm not gonna have enough slots to pick up the uh gems but now we've got all four dragon oh we've got all four dragonfly wings and i'm pretty sure i know where the dragonfly body is the dragonfly body is probably up at the top of like you i'm gonna have to climb up the ladder and it's probably up there you know what i'm gonna put that away and take those with me because by the time i put those two gems in i can just go grab one of those uh green herbs out in the hallway if i need a green herb or if i still want to have one on me um but i kind of want to have the dragonfly wings on me um, so that I can keep them with me when I climb up to the top and get what I'm presuming is the little dragonfly body piece up at the very top. This is why you needed the pa the bio, the, the, what you call it, room key. The sterile room key, so you can get in and out through here, not through an electric door. So now I can go over here, and if my hunch was right... Can I take one of these gems? Take the jewel. Which jewel? Left. Taking the blue jewel. And it doesn't move! Oh my god, and they're halved just like... Oh my god, this has got to be the solution, right? I feel so damn smart! I feel so damn smart! And you know what? After the last episode being such a trial of just running around... And like, oh, I gotta redo the this thing and do that thing and all that stuff. This feels like such a victory. If this is correct, I I will feel so extremely smart. See, this is the stuff that I love about Resident Evil. Oh, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Or should I spend... You know what? Just since he's right there. Everybody else, I'll, I'll just use a pistol on. Okay. Alright, buddy. Let's make the angle change, please, so I can see down the hallway. Because I don't know if anybody else is out. Yep. Yep. kind of figured you would be out and about. Anybody down over here? Okay, nobody over here. Wow, zero bullets. I had literally just enough. Isn't that lucky? And you know what? I'm okay with using one grenade if it keeps my health intact. I think that's the smart decision. Oh my god, I was so right. I was so right. Yep, just gotta repeat what we did before. God, it's so nice being so extremely smart. What a wonderful experience it is. There's a music box plate. Take the music box plate. God, I love being a brainiac. I love being able to put simple puzzles together in a video game designed over, like, 20 years ago. It makes me feel so smart. God, this game was made over 20 years ago. That feels weird. To see a game this advanced in 3D and stuff, and you can say, oh, this was made over 20 years ago, is crazy. Like, Ratchet and... Oh, wait. Ratchet and Clank is also 20 years old. Or over 20 years old. Oh, Jesus. Lots of games are over 20 years old. I'm gonna stop talking about that now, because now that makes me feel old. Because, I mean, I'm, o I'm over 20 years old, but still, talking about games I played as a kid as being over 20 years old makes me feel even older um this seems like 
a potentially... Okay. Hello. There's nothing useful here. Okay. Somebody... Uh, these are the pick paintings from their gallery. Somebody has their faces slashed through. Which is not a great thing. Are these just panels? These are just panels, so I'm going to assume I can just grab this out of what's clearly the ant hill. Or an ant, ant hill. Take the dragonfly object. Okay, don't know why it was in that. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Now what? We just take it... Do I literally just go find Claire and take it to the exit? That seems too easy, almost. That seems too easy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, we gotta get out of here. And I gotta... Hmm. If that is the case, if it literally is that simple, I gotta go back and make some... Make some in... I gotta investigate the item box one more time. Okay, where are you? Are you... Oh, okay, you're over there. That's fine. You can be over there. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Or is it just quicker... to go use the item box? That's, like, right through here. Am I mistaken, or is this where one of the item boxes is? I know there's a way to... Okay, I was mistaken. It's not in here. But one of the doorways through here takes me through... Um, to where the item box was from where that mini Claire part was. Is there a zombie there? Okay. Am I actually hitting him? Okay, I was hitting him. Good. You gonna get up? No, you're dead. Okay. It's... This doorway. N no, wait. What? There's a tiny doorway there. Oh, that's right. It was up the stairs. It was up the stairs. So I was correct in that I needed to go through those double doors. I just thought it was, like, a door right off this hallway. I was incorrect in that. I was correct that it's over this way, though. And for those of you concerned, like, well, you're gonna go check the item box, but you're not gonna save. There's no typewriter in that room. I know that, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab whatever I want and some typewriter ribbons, go save in that hallway room, and then just run back here and drop off the typewriter ribbons, since I will need um, to come back uh, this way anyway. So here's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. I'm gonna put the AK away. I'm gonna take the shotgun, the first aid spray, and I'm going to combine those herbs. Shocking decision, I know, but I think it's the right decision for this particular moment. Um, I'm also going to... Uh, I'm going to take the typewriter ribbons, and then I will come back and get the flame rounds. I think that's a pretty good setup. I'll have two healing items that heal me a good chunk. Um... Plenty of ammo, especially plenty of magnum ammo, which we know is beefy. Well, then I'll just go get Claire. Um, and we'll get the hell out of Dodge. Because I do need to get Claire in order... Because it's a two-person thing. Because the whole sibling angle thing. They love playing with that in this game. Should I leave the shotgun behind and take the other green herb? I only have seven bullets with the shotgun. And even though the shotgun is powerful, do, would I want the other healing item instead? Hmm. 
I th I think I might do that, actually. I think I might swap, because I have a lot of ammo for weapons that are pretty damn good. Um, so having just another weapon that will also... I don't have excess ammo for that weapon, so once it's done, it's done. And it's a good short-range weapon, but not a good long-range weapon. Whereas every other weapon is is kind of a twofold. Like Magnum is good at, at either distance, pistol's good at any dis at either distance. Grenade launcher is good at long distance, better at short distance. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I love that I'm that I'm saying this. Well, I was gonna say I love that I'm saying this when I still have a space empty for ink ribbons, but I completely forgot that I was going to. Um, move the ink ribbons and take the uh, flame rounds instead. I also don't know why right now I'm sorting all this, but my brain is just like, you need to sort through all this. And I listen to what my brain says. Alright. I'm also gonna guess that since we saw a bunch of zombies in that hallway before that didn't get up and move. I'm gonna guess that when we go in here now, those zombies are up and moving, and that one behind the jail cell is also now busted out. Claire? Claire? You good, sister? You? Literally, yes. sister, I can say that, because no. you are my sister. The door won't open. Hey. Is Steve with you? Uh, technically, <laughs> yes. Steve, he... <laughs> Steve's dead! Steve Dunn did died! Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? No, I can't. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot that she's actually locked in there. How do I unlock it? Grace, there should be a self-destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, all the electronics... Oh, right! All the doors open! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was just... Are you shitting me right now? Are you kidding me? I had to have one empty spot... I didn't fucking know that. Hold on, can I go put in the the Can I go put in the dragonfly and then come back and grab it? Oh, I can. You've unlocked the door. Cool. Well, now I'll just go back and grab the book, which I'm sure I'm just going to read and then add two notes. Dun dun dun. Okay, take the security file. Isn't that the thing that you read and was just like a file? There's no need to use this. Um, what about check? Security file. Something seems to be caught inside. Something seems to be caught inside. What? So, so open it then. Oh, it's a physical item. Oh, what the fuck? Just give me a book that can't be read. That's stupid. I'm also prepping myself for at least one, maybe a two-phased boss fight uh, with Alexia. Hence why I have so many weapons and ammo, because Lord only knows what this game is about to put me through. Speak the devil. Get, get yourself a fresh reload. And go ahead and do do a fun spin, Chris. Wabow! It is honestly kind of funny to me to be playing a game where Chris... It, I'm not only playing as Chris, but Chris is explicitly the hero. 
given the somewhat villainous side of Chris we've seen in the more recent games. Uh, especially... Oh, and there's another green herb. Thank you, game. This is a terminal. Here is the release for the self-destruct system. I need the security card to activate the terminal. Check. Something seems to be caught inside. Okay. Something seems to be caught inside. Use. There's no need to... Hold, hold on! I swear, if this is the solution... This is going to be the dumbest thing in the world. I'm not even going to say it out loud until I try it, because I don't know if it is the solution or not. But I feel like it might be, because the game wants to be cute. And the thing that gave it away to me was the description of the binder. That something seems to be caught inside. Let's see here. Okay, never mind. Uh, I assumed you had to set it here on the ground. And it would get cracked open. No need to use it now. Um, I'm kind of confused then. An anti-cannon is displayed here. How do I get the damn card out of the thing? Especially considering this is like clearly the towards the end of the game. It's, like, got some epic action music. How the fuck do I get the card out of the thing? Do I need to go back and, and like, look around? Like, I don't understand. I don't fucking understand. Okay, what else is in here? Is there anything in here to mess with? Oh, another green herb. As if I had enough slots for that. What the fuck do I do with this key card then? Or with this binder then? I don't have a lockpick. The fuck do I do with this? 7.59 a.m. Oh my god, I just had to exit. That's so stupid. I just had to... I hadn't examined it on the opening side to open it. Sorry, I didn't realize I was... Chris was that much of a dumbass. Put the security card in the card slot. Self-destruct safety lock release system. Please enter the security code. I wonder what it could be. Where's R? I do like this. I like that the game is making me type it in as opposed to, like, Chris remembering it and then just, um, it auto-typing itself. Lock release system. All door locks have been released in order to help expedite the evacuation process. This facility will detonate in five minutes. Oh, cool. Lots of fun time to run around and do everything I need to do. Cool. Well, I'm gonna pick up this. I'm gonna combine it. Like that. And I guess I might as well go pick up the other green herb. So why the fuck not? And when have I... When is there ever... In a game where there's tank controls, when have they ever made you actually, like, be down to the wire? Alright. I'm gonna harbor a guess here that as soon as I walk out this door, there's a boss fight on this platform. Because this is a platform that seems like a boss fight takes place on it. You made it! Okay. Force. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, I was right! It's almost as if I'm smart and I know how these games work. Oh, is it gonna vomit up Alexia? Is that how she's getting around? What the fuck? What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I got a magnum. A couple shots took her down last time. Shouldn't take too many this time. Is that an RPG? Okay. Turn the key clockwise simultaneously on three. Got it. Are you gonna make me do this? Oh, that's I fucking hate that. One. 
What happens if I don't have the space in my inventory for the rocket launcher? I am Poison Ivy. God, her design looks so sick. It's it, it need of such a better game. What's I'll keep her busy. Just go for the emergency elevator. Chris, but I can take care of this. Just go, 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 Jill. Trust or chill, God. Go, Claire. Make it. Don't die on me. I'm not. I can handle this. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Wait, are you fucking serious? One Magnum shot? Are you kidding me? That, you can't be serious. Did I really just say the, what the, f oh, she's a dragonfly lady. She's something, what the hell? This is definitely one of the weirder looking Resident Evil bosses, creatures, etc. that I've ever experienced. Fucking... All the tiny little things. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, combine with that. Okay. Magnum's out, Magnum's out. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, heal with that. Uh, items. Go ahead and equip that. How the fuck do I kill the tiny ones? Oh, oh did I get her? Was, like, 700 grenades enough? What's she pooping out? Oh, the fucking ants. Oh, the noise. Oh, the noise. Oh, the noise. Oh. I see what's happening. The ants are gonna swarm her. Okay. Just like, or no, is it the queen crying out in pain? Oh, now I get the rocket launcher. Chris, now seems like the time for something epic! Well, I'm hurt, so... Oh, Jesus, I'm hurt. We go grab the epic-looking item. Take the linear launcher. <laughs> Infinite ammo! <laughs> Clearly, I see what they were trying to do with this. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's rude gonna be like the fucking oh my god this is gonna be like the fucking other fight let me fucking hit you there I got her I knew you would dodge the first one so I just shot two say hi to your brother for me that was way too late for a cool tagline. Why did we switch? Oh, God damn it, Wesker! No! Why do you gotta do this? Why are we doing this, Wesker? The fuck is this song and dance? Oh, I gotta fight Wesker now? Zombies! The fuck is this, man? Come on! Well done, Chris. It turns out that Alexia's work wasn't much of anything. So now, the only thing left is revenge. Really? Go, you you're really Kill. doing this now, Wesker? Fine. Claire! Today's a good day. I came for Alexia. Killing you is even better. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry. Alexia is gone. That's no longer a concern for me. I have Steve to work with. Oh what? my god, he has Steve? Steve. He's got Steve's Steve body? There's still a living T Alexia virus. Steve should be a good specimen. 
Is this game actually extremely important to the Resident Evil timeline? And I just didn't realize? Don't you touch him. I mean, I knew it was a main game, technically, but... But my men have already taken it. You get out of here, Claire. But what about... As a surviving member of Stars, I have to... I have to fucking fight my boyfriend. Run, Claire, run. I'll end this once and for all. Say hello to my comrades who you've killed. I don't know where you get That's such a funny line. Say hello to my comrades who you killed is such a funny line because it's it starts out like a cool, badass line, and then it ends up being like a completely ridiculous, like, well, you've over explained it now and you've made it less cool. Am I actually going to fight him, or is this just a super long cutscene? You're not going to get up, Chris? Or is Claire going to come and save The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. The self-destruct system has been activated. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, I knew it. Evacuate immediately. I got the still got the bomb arrows, right? Or am I actually gonna Can this game make up its mind as to who's gonna have the fun climactic final battle? Oh my god, that was so cool, Wesker. He punched him and then he did the thing of like, well, you gotta stand up, catch my breath from punching you. God, watching a super badass like hand-to-hand -hand combat fight with sure, I'm not models anymore. made of six legos are but is really funny <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's really funny that's really really funny i gotta say you can't be serious right now Don't you think? just shoot it chris uh, t thanks for stealing my line. Wait, uh, shit. Fuck, I messed it up. God, my controller's vibrating ridiculously with every explosion. It's crazy. Uh, Chris, please tell me you didn't leave that linear launcher. Chris, please tell me you have the big rocket launcher on hand. Still. Man. Like, it's a fucking Kojima length cutscene. Nice try. Wesker. You, you know we know who he is! Why are you just saying his name? Did we really go through all that and I'm not even gonna fight him? I'm not actually gonna fight him? Today's your lucky day. Are you kidding me? This time we meet, don't count on another. Why why even have this happen? Until we meet again. <laughs> Hey, dude, you need to back away before you start laughing easily like that. You're gonna inhale some smoke. You're gonna start coughing up a storm. It's gonna do murder on your lungs. Is that really... Wow, okay. We're really not gonna fight him. Chris, don't you know you're not supposed to take the elevator during a fire? Chris, where are you? Is he gonna... Oh my god. Here's what I'm. Th here's what I think is about to happen. I think the elevator is about to reach that top level. He's gonna jump. He's about. To, he's gonna jump over the railing into the cockpit, and they're gonna take off. But please let that be what happens. Please. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, even better. Take off now, Claire. We got to go. 
Can we have the sibling pleasantries later? This place is literally blowing up. Chris, promise me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. I'm I sorry, don't... Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. You mean... Yeah, it's payback time. We've got to destroy Umbrella. Now, let's finish this once and for all. Highway to the danger zone. Holy shit, that's a massive explosion. Hey! Woo! Woo oh my god. All right. Here my oh this music is so awesome. Bring up the down the down. Okay, so here's here's my thoughts. Did I enjoy myself? Yes, I did extremely. Do I think it's a good game? I don't know because on the one hand, I love all, you know that I love every fixed camera Resident Evil because of the puzzle aspects of it all. It's the reason that the first Resident Evil is my favorite uh, in the entire series. Is I love that combination of, oh, I gotta manage my ammo, there could be a zombie around the corner, but I don't know where because of the way the cameras are set up, and the heavier emphasis on puzzles. And I think that there's a really fantastic game here. Here's the problem. I think that it's buried underneath just relics of the time. Um, I think that had this gotten a proper HD remake style thing like Resident Evil, uh, one on the GameCube or Resident Evil Zero, it would have been a much more enjoyable experience. But this is an HD remaster that kind of just makes it look prettier and that's about it. The tank controls are an absolute pain, especially in some of the moments where you're clearly expected to go fast. Um, and some of the bosses just feel ridiculous, like the tyrant in the plane. Um, the the what was it called Nosferatu on on the helipad like moments that didn't feel like oh I as the player have not yet figured out what to do moments that felt like here is a brick wall you just gotta scramble over it um and I think that if the game was actually not even like a Resident Evil 2 remake level remake I think if you just remade the game in the style of the GameCube remake of the first Resident Evil, where it's just... Okay. Um, where it's just remove the tank controls, re-record the voice acting, and adjust the balance on those fights, and I think you have a great game. Um, but... As it stands, not only do you have all those weird gameplay difficulties, the voice acting is not. I mean, I know early 2000s and 90s Resident Evil was notorious for having cheesy voice acting, but this... When did this come out? When did this actually come out? Hold on. Resident Evil Code Veronica. Um, so this came out in 2000. This was the fourth... Resident Evil, or the fourth installment. So this is technically a sequel to Resident Evil 3. Um, see, here's the crazy thing. A pic the Code Veronica X, which is the version that I'm technically playing, was released on the PS2 and GameCube with, uh, according to the Wikipedia page, um... It included new cutscenes which revealed more details about the story. So they had to go back and record more stuff for these new cutscenes, and yet the dialogue is still not great. The delivery is poor, um, and that's like the GameCube version came out in 2003. The PS2 version came out in 2001. Like, this is a full over a year after the first after just Code Veronica came out. I just don't... I just really 
am kind of frustrated because it feels like by this point they were learning a little bit more about what um, what worked in terms of the story and voice acting and stuff and it feels almost like this one they just kind of threw it out and they went back with the over the top cheat like who listened to Steve's voice and was like that's acceptable that's a character I need to take seriously so that I care about his demise later in the game like what and the, the sound mixing is not great there's no subtitles like this is a game that I feel like could be even if you kept this the weird voice acting this is a game that could be vastly improved just by change just by fixing some of those things add subtitles fix the sound mixing remove tank controls like even if all just that had been changed and the weird difficulty spikes had been left in I would have enjoyed it far more than I did I think it is a game that so we got to do the Resident Evil ranking um, let me look up my last Resident Evil. What was it? Oh, it was four remakes. Let me look up my ranking from four remake so that I can get the correct ranking instead of before um, when I was doing the ranking in Resident Evil 4, I accidentally got the order wrong. Um, so let me pull that up. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at that. They look like a couple. Again, what is the obsession with like... Claire, our female character, has to be treated like a baby, but, like, she's running through this game being a badass all on her own, and then even when she's around her own brother, they, like, infantize her. It's really weird. Ranking E, total time 13 and a half hours, number of saves 36, number of retries 14. How much you want to bet that all of those retries were just the fucking, um, battle game? Were, were just from bosses. The fuck is battle game? What is Battle Game? Resident Evil. Is this like Mercenaries mode? What is Battle Game? Huh? What is Battle Game? Third per third person or first person? What? Oh, dude! How do I pull out the gun? Oh, I have it out. I can't see it at all. This is very... This is actually super interesting in that this is the first time... Technically the first first person Resident Evil, I guess. This is very... This is a very cool, like, artifact, I guess. Oh, I can still run. That's right. Oh, but you still have the loading screens for the stairs. All right, I'm not gonna play the rest of this. This is this is a cool little thing, but I'm not. I'm not gonna play the rest of it. Um, how do I? Oh, right. Select, reset game. That 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 is cool though. That is cool. I gotta give him that. I gotta give him that. That's very cool. Um, okay. Let me look. Do, 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 do. Resident Evil Four. Um. Okay, my full ranking. So, here's the deal. Hold on. It's got a... My, my image editing application has to load because it's got a clear background, so I can't exactly just view it just against the white background of my file folder. Um, so, looking at my current Resident Evil ranking... Um, Honestly, so, here's the thing. If you look at my, the games on the lower half of my list, they're, they're not games I would consider bad, but they're games that I think have some flaws that make them less fun than I would normally like. Resident Evil 7, super fun, really don't like the boat stuff. Um, really like everything after the boat stuff, save for the final boss fight, but love the house. So a chunk of that game that I think is flawed. Village, 
there's just in in here's the thing i've gone back and actually replayed uh some of these at since i last played resident evil 4 remake just in my free time because i kind of got into like how fast can i beat them because the thing that's super fun about a lot of resident evil games is if you know what to do for the puzzles it's just f it's just fast it's a fast fun time which means that you can beat resident evil 7 in like under three hours you can beat resident evil village in under four hours it's possible once you know what to do and where to go um but just something about village even if i as i play it more and more it just i don't know just something about it um i like all of the areas um there's ones i think are weaker than others i think the swamp or or like water area with um mordo i think is his name is the weakest area but I don't know, just something about it, just sort of, eh, I don't know. Um, 3 Remake, I, I really just, I don't like how action heavy it is. It just, I just don't like that aspect of it. Um, I don't like Carlos as a character, even though his section of the game is my favorite section of the game. Um, and so honestly, because of the the best game to compare Code Veronica to, for me, is Resident Evil Zero. Because both are games that I consider to have weird difficulty spikes. Both are games that I consider to be very flawed in some of their gameplay elements. But when they hit, they really hit. And I think that, again, I know I'm playing... Like, Zero had the benefit of being an HD remaster, they re-recorded dialogue, they did all that stuff, so they didn't have the cheesy dialogue that originally existed with the base version of Resident Evil Zero. I think I would have to put Code Veronica at the bottom of the list, not because I think it's a bad game, but because I think that just looking at the stuff I enjoyed versus the stuff that I thought were flaws, that's just how it, it wiggles out. So... That means that my current ranking for the Resident Evil series, I played nine of these suckers, Jesus, goes as follows. Number nine, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Number eight, Resident Evil Zero HD. Number seven, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Number six, Resident Evil Village. Number five, Resident Evil 7. Number four, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Number three, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Number two, Resident Evil 4 VR. And my number one, with a bullet still, is Resident Evil 1 HD. The OG. I still really deeply love that game. Even though I have to install an Arachnophobia mod to play it. But who gives a shit? I love it dearly. And you know what? With all the games being ranked, with the credits being reached, I think it's about time that I say... Thank you, everybody, for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful! Thank you guys for joining me on yet another big Resident Evil adventure. I loved having you with me. I... This menu now looks super weird because it looks like they're standing on some sort of like city street like a london city street that does not exist in this game but the fact that it's there is kind of funny to me um maybe that's meant to be the palace i don't know doesn't look like it and this has been resident evil code veronica x i'll catch you guys in the next episode See you, Space Cowboys.